Hi guys, welcome, welcome to the kitchen, you guys. Welcome to the kitchen. Uh, let's swipe you guys. I have had like a whole week of kind of lost my mojo. Um, it's been really, really hot in Greater Victoria and the last two nights I've tried to paint, my painting has just cracked. But today, because it's my day off, we're back to being cooler. So let's do this. So we're kind of on a race against the sun or the night because it's going down really quickly. So let's swipe. Let's swipe like we used to though before we transfer. No transfers, no anything. Let's just swipe this out. So we're going to use beauty tone velvet for our base and then I kind of have a just a little mix of colors here so this is quinacridone nickel azo gold really thick this is the seco mix it's actually a little bit too thick but we're going to run with it anyway so I'm going to try to leave a little bit of negative space so that we can possibly modify but we'll see. So this is one of the new piggy colors. Um, this one I absolutely fell in love with. This is brulee. It's it's absolutely stunning. It's an interference color and over top of conacridone nickel is a gold. It makes this absolutely beautiful coral color. It's just can't say enough about it. <clears throat> so this is one of the cheapy paints. This is from the dollar store. Uh, this is leaf green. So I've used these quite frequently on other pores. Uh, they work just fine. Absolutely fine. And then we're going to put a little bit of TLP sea glass. So my piggies are all mixed normal way with their 8300 and Jasonia gloss varnish. And my paints are mixed with the Seco which is a little bit different, a little bit different consistency. It's quite stringy, um, quite fun to play with. So this is also the dollar store paint <clears throat> in, it's, they call it tropical green. Very pretty. All right. And we're going to swipe it out in black. And we're just going to use a playing card to swipe it. I'm going to go back to the kind of my older way of swiping with a little ratty piece of paper. These cards I got from my daughter's boyfriend and they're a little bit heavier duty. So these ones would make really good for transfer swipes when I fold it. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. So let's just, uh, let's give this a bit of a torch. There are a few bubbles. And then I said I was going to try to get away from modifying, but the restaurant that I put some pieces in has sold out of the modified pieces. And as much as I have a few more to go in there, uh, I don't have a lot. So we're going to modify. There's our first swipe. I'm just going to grab a paper towel, you guys. wipe off my fancy playing card here and then we're going to swipe it again. I'm going to actually turn you guys around that way. Uh oh. Then we're going to stretch this out lots and lots and we'll see what happens so i'm actually going to put another swipe through it and we're going to sort of break up that center piece a little bit we're going to maybe go right through with a little bit of the quinacridone over top of the quinacridone i'm going to place the brulee just on my paper and then let's come in over here. It just gives us <clears throat> a little bit more to possibly modify with. 
Didn't do a very good job of that quinacridone one. Okay, I'm going to spin it just a tiny bit. I'm just going to lift it and tip it. So the last two nights paintings have been just complete epic failures because, like I said, my paint has all just cracked into big lines. Um, and the only piece that I did that I really, really cared for, I woke up to find that a fruit fly had kind of done a waltz through the whole piece. So I wasn't very happy with that either. Okay, we're gonna go down here and off. So I can tell my base paint is still a little bit thin compared to the way it usually is, but it is looking a little better. All right, stretch, stretch, stretch. I think I think, I think, I think I'm going to put another swipe through it in the, I believe the quinacridone again. So we're going to just swipe it right on top of our paper, or swipe it, dump it right on top of our paper. Same as the last time. So a very, very thick too thick actually and then we're going to do the brulee saturday was my mom's 81st birthday and i was working so we decided that we were going to go for lunch today with my daughter and the baby and we were supposed to be going down to the waterfront because they have some just really nice kiosks and really really yummy food and it's been really really hot so of course today on my first day off guess what it rained so we had to change our plans one more spin guys i had to change my plans and took everybody to red robin for lunch but it certainly wasn't the same i mean my mom and my stepdad appreciated it but i kind of had this idea in my head of you know I wanted to go down and sit on the docks and eat lunch and yeah didn't did not go as planned but it was good my granddaughter is an eating machine she just gobbled up anything that anybody was willing to give her pickles and pineapple and chicken and some hamburger and some cheese and yeah she was really good actually All right, so we have some fun areas to work with for modifying. Areas with lots of contrast. I'm gonna put a little bit more base on my corners cause I don't really wanna change the composition too terribly much, but I didn't put enough base on. So we're gonna just help it out a little tiny wee bit. And then I'm going to give it another quick spin. All right. These are all my favorite colors. Do da do da do da. All right, you guys. Let's do this. It's just a. Uh, a little bit of a cleanup here so that I'm not getting covered in pain because I have my good jeans on still <clears throat> because you know what I'm not gonna get messy ha 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 so let's just tidy up a tiny bit and then we're gonna modify so a couple of people on Facebook have asked lately about modifications and if I would go through things a little bit slower 
and I said I would. Um, hard to kind of do. Hard to go through it any slower because basically all we're going to do is make some lines. Same as always. So we're going to take off my glove. And I have my favorite modifying tool out is a toothpick, a metal stainless steel kebab stick, and a thicker, a thicker uh, cocktail skewer thing. You guys can still see. Oh yeah, it's not so bad. All right, guys, just pick a line, any line you want. I have paint in my hair. And then we're gonna make some lines through it. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start right, oh, where am I gonna start? Good question. Let's start on this side. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start right here with this dark line. I'm just going to do the same thing we always do. We're just gonna bring it through we're going to get a clean cloth. And we're just going to keep going with this. So exactly the same as always. Just little lines in whatever direction you want. And Every time you make a line, it changes your composition. And it's a really, really fun way to just kind of putter away and maybe sometimes create something that, you know, something that's really cool as opposed to something that's okay, I think. And they sell well, I say this every time, these pieces sell incredibly well in the coffee shops, uh, Christmas markets, same thing sell really well and your price point is pretty good considering these tiles well they're up a bit now but they're still under like two dollars at Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay some areas that I really really like like this up here. I'm going to turn you around And then let's come in on this dark line up here and let's just bring this through. So as always, the wider of an angle you hold your skewer on, the, the more underneath base color you bring through. So if you wanna kind of open it up and create some space, hold your skewer on an angle and then you can bring in little bit more of your base and just break that right up. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a toothpick. Uh, just because it's a smaller line, no reason. It's just a finer line. The bigger the tool, the wider the line, the more of an angle, the wider the line. So if you want just little, de little details, just use a toothpick or a dental pick. Um, those dental pick things work really, really well. Anything really. Use a ballpoint pen if you want. So right now I'm just repeating this pattern over and over and over again in different areas. So if you want to change your pattern, and break it up. So first we went this way. Now we're gonna come in, let's come in over here and let's just go down through this the other way. And it just gives you a little bit more of an intricate pattern and just something a little different. Again, so now I'm going again the other way. So now we're going into this one section. We've done it in three different directions. Can you guys still see? Kind of, sort of. I'm running out of sun, running out of daylight, you guys. I'll do this quick here. 
love this love this section like the little blast of clonacridone let's put something in here really don't want to mess up all those cells but I'm willing to mess up some of them all right our favorite our favorite little metal stainless steel cocktail stick from Amazon just put it in the middle between the base paint and your acrylic color and give it a twirl to make the little curly cues you can come back if they're not holding up come back Come back come back and hit them all again once your paint sets it's uh got a lot more freedom to kind of do some modifying or tighten up what you've already done and then pull up as we go so twirl and pull upwards and wiping off or you're going to have white base paint on top of your line that you're trying to curl Okay, guys, we're going to use the back side of our stick. What happens if I turn a house light on? Hang on. Well, it may be a little better. Uh, we're going to use this side of the stick. It's exactly the same shape as a popsicle stick. And this time we're just going to come through and put it down and pull it up. Down and up, wiping off as we go. And that's how you create, I didn't do that one very well, that's how we create this little, kind of funky little chain-like thing. So normally I rock it back and forth. I'm not this time because I only have dark on one side and white on the other. So it's not really going to make a huge difference. But on a line where I have dark on both sides, it's a really fun way to pull things, kind of pull it through. And like right here so if we because we have light on either side so if we rock it back and forth and touch either side of the line then we make a little this is white and it again it just adds some little little details maybe let's do it here Popsicle stick would be better. This is pretty tiny. Does a trick, but a popsicle stick would make it 10 times easier. I kind of think we need to get rid of that quinacridone flash there. I'm going to leave this top as is because I like this little bit here that almost it looks like a seashell right there. So my orientation would be the top is up here. So I think we're going to get rid of that little flash of quinacridone and just leave the negative space. All right, cheapy cheapy guys, green dollar store paints. Quick spin. That's better. All right. So let's, uh, this is really pretty. This section is quite pretty with those cells, but let's just break it up a little bit. Let's just come in and go back over it the other way.
Now we're just making little lines. Just pull your paint. It doesn't have to be all the way down to the tile. We're just kind of pulling the paint and just making little tiny adjustments as we go. All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna love you and leave you here. Um, this is sort of the first thing that I've poured in a couple days that I'm actually kind of happy with. Uh, of course, these are my colors. All right, I'm gonna put you on hold and bring you down. All right, we're back. So here's the whole piece and my shadow. Uh, very hard to show you, but let's just creep down. So here's our, our little intricate little lines and our curly cues and our cells. And there's our little chain. I'm not sure how I feel about this yellow dot in the middle, gold dot, but it's there. Yeah, look at that. Look at all these intricate little details. All right, my friends, it's only paint. You guys all got this, every single one of you. There's my seashell at the top. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. Thank you so much for joining me in the Massey Kitchen. Oh, look at my shadow. Uh, we'll talk really, really soon, guys. Take care. Bye.